Responsibility for shaping his development rested heavily on me. <laughs> While only seven years separate John and me, as children, this seemed like many more. To Dave and I, he was little, and we were not. <laughs> we didn't take much notice of him until he want started wanting to be included in our games. Let me explain games. Dunk ball, offense, defense, trampoline football. Ten hours a day, each one had its own season. For several summers in a row, the game was tennis ball. Neighborhood kids would come every day between 7.30 and 8 for this game that we created, which surprisingly enough was baseball played with a tennis ball. <laughs> we kept detailed game statistics, including batting average, RBIs, and home runs, all of which were calculated and recalculated ever after each day of playing. Winning was everything, and there was no place on either team for a weak link. <laughs> John was seven, <laughs> and he wanted to play. We had always ignored what John wanted, so his wanting to play was not an immediate problem. <laughs> However, Dad intervened. <laughs> the new rule was, John had to play. <laughs> we did anything and everything we could to make him hate playing. <laughs> He struck out all the time. We called him names. When he was up to bat, we pitched to injure. He was the weak link. Then came a second rule from above. John couldn't strike out. This was the craziest rule we ever had. We had to throw 30 pitches before he would hit even one. Our resentment built up, and as John began to participate with us in other more contact-oriented games, full retribution came to him. It was fortunate for us that we had no rules about flagrant fouls on the basketball court or unsportsmanlike conduct in trampoline football. <laughs> Dave and I outweighed John by 40 pounds, and he felt every pound. <laughs> it has not surprised me that John has stayed away from contact sports <laughs> while choosing to focus his energies on less physical games, such as Monopoly. <laughs> Over several years, John slowly improved. Dave and my work finally began to pay off. When he reached the end of high school, he played with the best of them.